If you're looking for a video on a specific topic, simply type in what you're looking for in my channel search bar. And if I have videos addressing that topic, it will take you right to them. What's up you guys, it's Donna. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Pants Week. So we are gonna be talking all week about the pants. What is the pants? It is our certification exam that all PA students have to take at the end of graduation to actually become a certified PA and not just be a PA with a $100,000 degree that you can't really do anything with. So that's why you need to prepare for the pants, um, to study for the pants because it is from what I understand, a very difficult test. So if you haven't seen my other video, it is about the structure of the pants. Um, please definitely go hit that video up. I will leave a link for it in the description box below. Um, there you'll be able to find exactly how the test is structured. But on this video, we're gonna just be talking about prepping for the test, studying for this test. And I'm gonna give you guys four, that's it, four easy tips to prep for your pants. So the first one is study guides. So for your study guides, um, you can make these study guides yourself. You can get study guides offline. You can get study guides from your classmates, but any study guides that you have kind of accumulated throughout your didactic year is definitely a really great way to study for the pants. Why? Because pants is broken down into your organ systems. And I'm pretty sure that most of you had a school that was modular in nature, meaning that your pharmacologic your, or your pharmacology class, pathophysiology class, medical practice class, they all correlated with endocrine or with cardiology and that particular system. So you have everything just based right there and laid out for you. So with that being said, you have all of the things that you could ever need to know for the most part about cardiology right at your hand. And that is what is very important when you're studying for the pants because you need to know how to diagnose the disease. You need to know the farm behind it, like, you know, interactions and um, how is it excreted throughout the system? What's the lethal dose? Uh, what's the most optimal dose? Any contraindications? So you're gonna need to know that. You need to know the pathophysiology of the disease process that you're trying to treat. And all of that will be encompassed in your study guides that you have accumulated. Another thing that is very, very, very just helpful in studying for the pants um, and any board exam that you're gonna be doing with respect to the PA profession is pants prep pearls. So pants prep pearls, you guys have heard me talk about it over and over. It just makes things really, really simple, breaks them down into the little pearls that you need for that particular disease. It gives you first and second line treatments. And it talks about a lot of things with respect to kind of buzzwords that the pants usually has. Um, I, I heard that they're trying to move away from buzzwords with respect to the pants, but hopefully there are some things that you just really cannot get away from. So definitely, go use that book. It is very, very helpful. Through didactic era, uh, when you're just trying to retain that information after you've already learned it, and especially at the end when you're studying for the pants, recalling that information, seeing those buzzwords, seeing the things that are bolded and italicized will help you retain that information as well. The other thing is board reviews. So now there are a lot of board reviews. Most of them I think cost, uh, people usually charge for board reviews. However, some schools do them. It's like built into their program. I know my school has a board review month, I guess you could say that's built into our program where we're just studying for the pants so that they're really, really doing their best to ensure that we pass the this test because if we don't pass, oh my gosh, it is the end of the world. <laughs> no, but that is what it would feel like because it's like, man, well, what do I do? You know, after I take this test and if I don't pass, right? Like I don't get a C, then what do I do? I need that PAC but board reviews help with that. So you can go to some of the different board review website, you pay for them and you will get a board review. But I have partnered with, uh, with Kaplan for this video and they are also offering different programs slash board reviews. You can get a lecture or access to different lectures on different topics and then you can also get an expert teacher that teaches you some of this material over again, which is essentially kind of a board review and they also provide board 
reviews as well. I will leave a link for that in the description box below. You can get 15% off by using my code, which is the Donna15. It will be in the description box below, all of the details about that. Just click that link and then it'll take you right to the website and you'll see that. But right now, if you are studying for the pants right now, you can also head on over there. They have a back to school special, which gives you 20% off. Board reviews and Kaplan is a really good way to go ahead and um, study for your pants. Lastly, the thing that I really like, not just with respect to preparing for the pants, because yes, I am preparing for the pants right now. I am still studying, you guys. I am still going over material. I am still learning or relearning stuff that I thought I knew, but I really didn't know as well as I should have known. So I'm doing all of that now, which is preparing me for the pants. And one tool that I use all the time is Qbanks. So I have access to a lot of different Qbanks. Um, I've gotten access to Kaplan's Qbank, which is really, really good. Qbanks are really helpful. What they do is they give you a question stem, and then depending on the question, if you get it right or wrong, it gives you the rationale also behind it. So it tells you why this answer is correct and then why the other answers are incorrect, which is important because it helps you identify your weak areas because maybe you were going to choose that answer, but you chose another answer because of whatever the reasoning is. Like you thought, oh, well, no, but they're not really gonna um, do this particular disease with these symptoms, are they? Or there was a symptom that you were looking for that you didn't see, and so you chose another uh, answer and that answer was wrong and then the actual rationale will tell you okay well hey this is all of the information with respect to why this is the right answer this is why this is not indicated for treatment in this particular disease so that is very helpful because then you can take that information you can I usually write it down like if there was something that I got wrong I usually write it down and then I go back to my study guides or I go back to Google um, or or some of my lectures, anything that I have at my resources, I guess you could say, and I look up that information. I go to up to date and I make sure that I'm well up to date with the information on that particular disease system. So definitely, I highly suggest QBanks. They are very, very good. And speaking of Kaplan's QBank, I will be doing an in-depth review of the QBank, just going through all of the different question stems that you're gonna see. Um, so be sure to hit that description box for a link. I will leave a link for that video if you're watching this at a later period of time, then you can go ahead and click that video and you'll see exactly what the QBank is about, um, how Kaplan has structured it, and how it's helpful not only for studying for didactic gear, but also for your pants. Because uh, that thing is no joke, okay? 300 questions, five hours, no jokes. So definitely do your preparation, make sure that you're ready for this, and um, hopefully we all will pass and be great PAs in the future, right? That is the prayer and the desire. Um, anyways, if you guys have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you have any video ideas, go ahead and leave that as well. And don't forget to hit up um, Kaplan's website for any of those different board reviews and pants prep uh, tools that they have available to you all. And Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. All right, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.